drawing pictures is one of my favorite aspects of mathematics, of calculus, and especially of differential equations. You can really see what's going on. But there's more than what we've done thus far. Let's take a moment or two to talk about a really nice idea for drawing pictures associated with the differential equation dx dt equals f of x. So first order autonomous, really nice stuff. Now what have we done so far? We've been drawing pictures that plot x of t versus t. You know what these look like, right? You've got t along the horizontal axis and x along the vertical axis and we're plotting curves that solve the differential equation, that solve dx dt equals f of x. You can see the slopes and all that stuff really nice. Now when we do so, what do the equilibria look like? We have seen, we have observed that the equilibria are constant solutions. That means they're straight lines when we plot x versus t. But there's another way to do things. Let's try the following. Let's try plotting f of x versus x. Now remember, f of x, that's the slope. That's dx dt. If we plot that versus x, we're getting rid of the t direction. Now, why would we want to do that? I kind of liked it when we drew pictures of x versus t, because I can see the solutions as a function of time. However, if we suppress that t axis, if we instead plot x along the horizontal and dx dt along the vertical, that is f, then, getting rid of the t-axis, we can see exactly where dx dt is going to be positive, where it's going to be negative, and where dx dt is zero. And this is really nice. In one picture, you can see what is happening, and you can see where the equilibria are. The equilibria, constant solutions, are where dx dt is zero. That corresponds to the roots of f. So if we plot f versus x, we can see exactly where the equilibria are. And that's not all, as we'll see next time. But for now... It's bonus time! Let's take a second and talk about what happens when we add in what is happening in time. If we plot x versus dx dt and show the evolution of x over time, this leads to the notion of a flow. Now, this is not something that we really need to be talking about here, but it's super cool in that it displays all the solutions of all initial conditions simultaneously. And in this plot, you can see where x is increasing, where x is decreasing. That is really kind of cool. Now, this is sort of simple in single variable calculus. If you work with higher dimensional dynamics, such as higher order differential equations, you can again look at flows. And these flows can be both complex and beautiful. The subject of differential equations and dynamical systems relies heavily on these sorts of visualizations. But that's for the future.